بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل کلکولس اینڈ میتھمیٹکس لرننگ ان ٹوڈے ویڈیو آئی ول سال دا ٹاپک میٹرکس ٹرانسفارمیشن ریلیٹڈ وتھ ایکسرسائز نمبر 1.5 لینئر الجبرا پی ایس سی سو ان ٹوڈے ویڈیو وی ول سال ایکسرسائز نمبر 1.5 ریلیٹڈ وتھ دا میٹرکس ٹرانسفارمیشن لینئر الجبرا 8 ایڈیشن رٹن بائی بورنل اینڈ ڈیوڈ آر ہل So all exercise number 1.5 is related with the same topic matrix transformation. So it tells that from question 1 to 8, oh, sketch U and its image under the given matrix transformation of. So the first question is a function is given from R square to R square defined by f of x y is equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 into x y such that u is equal to 2 3. So in this uh, uh, all questions from 1 to 8, oh, we will first sketch U and then we will write its image in argent plane. Oh. So move to the solution, there is simple formula for solving this function, we have the formula f of u is equal to a of u. So f will come down as it is, our u is 2 by 3, so it become f of 2 by 3 will be equal to a of u. So our a is this matrix which is 1, 0, 0, minus 1, multiply u, our u is 2 by 3. 3. Now this is 2 cross 2 order matrix and this is 2 cross 1 order matrix. So the result turn matrix will be 2 cross 1. So multiply 1 with 2 it gives us 2 and 0 with 3 it gives us 0. Now second matrix multiply first column. So 0 multiply 2 gives us 0 and it, it becomes minus 3. So this is the required result 2 cross 1. Now we will show it in the argent plane though. Our given u is 2 by 3. That is that sketch u. So our given u is 2 by 3. Let's suppose this is 1, this is 2. This is the origin 0. And over here let's suppose 1, 2 and let's suppose this is 3. So 2 and 3 on the x axis we will take 2 and on the y axis we will take 3. So let's suppose this is our u which is 2 and 3. After this that is that and its image. Uh, so the image is 2 minus 3. This is actually the image of the given u is equal to 2, 3. So the image is 2 and minus 3. So over here 2 is Pareto, so we will take 2 from over here and minus 3. So over here minus 1, minus 2 and uh, minus uh, 3. So over here, this is actually the image of the given u, which is actually 2 and uh, minus 3. Question number 2 is same just like question number 1 though. So that's why we skip question number 2 and move toward question number 3. It tells that a function from r square to r square is a counterclockwise uh, through 30 degree and our u is minus 1 by 3. Find the image and sketch the u. So over here f of u is equal to a, uh, a, a, a into u. We know that this formula. So it become f of u. u is minus 1 and 3. Our a is actually equal to cos of theta minus sine theta cos of theta and sine theta because our determinant is mostly equal to ad minus bc. So over here we take extra negative sign according to the formula. So over here the function is rotating to the counterclockwise with the angle of 30 degree. So replace theta with 30, it becomes cos 30 minus sin 30, sin 30 into cos of 30 and multiply u, u is minus 1 by 3. Cos 30 is 0 0.866 minus sin 30 is minus 0 0.5, sin 30 0 0.5, cos 30 0 0.866 and minus 1 by 3. Now by multiplying these two matrices, it will give us the result minus 2.36 and 2.08. Now my original u is equal to minus 1 by 3 which lies over here and my the image of the given function is minus 2.36 and 2.08 which will be lies over here so this is actually the required image now solving question number 4 it tells that a function from r square to r square is a counter clockwise rotation counter clockwise rotation means anti clockwise rotation through 2 pi by 3 radian and our u is minus 2 minus 3 so using the same formula f of u is equal to a of u so it become f of u. Our u is actually minus 2 and uh, minus 3 given. Which will be equal to a. a is actually again same. Over here we have cos theta, cos theta. And counterclockwise it means anti-clockwise uh, rotation. So it become sin theta and it become minus uh, sin theta into u. Our u is actually minus 2 and uh, minus 3. Now by putting the angle, 2 pi by 3 is actually 120 degree. So it become cos of 120 degree and minus sine time of 120 degree, sine 120 degree, cos 120 degree. Multiply minus 2 minus 3. So cos of 120 degree is equal to minus 0 0.5 and uh, sine 120 degree will be square root of 3 divided by 2 which is actually 0 
so it become minus 0 0.806 and 60 and sin 20 is 0 0.8666 and cos of 120 is 0 0.5 into minus 2 and minus 3 now by multiplying these two matrices it will give us the required result so that required result will be actually our image to this question number 4 and it will be required image to u is equal to minus 2 minus 3 then you will show it through the argent plane though so over here minus 2 and minus 3 over here let's suppose we have minus 2 and over here let's suppose we have minus 3 so over here we will draw a point from this r region so this is actually our given u and after this the required result will be drawn and then we will plot a line so that will be actually our required sketch now solving question number seven so it tells that a function from r cube to r cube it means that we have three rows over here defined by the function x y z is equal to 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 0 into x y z and u is equal to 2 minus 1 and 3 so using the same formula f of u is equal to solution f of u is equal to a of u so our f our u is 2 minus 1 3 so 2 minus 1 and 3 is equal to a of u our a is 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 0 and 0 into u our u is 2 minus 1 and 3 so now 1 into 2 will give us 2 0 into minus 1 0 0 into 3 0 1 into 2 gives us 2 minus 1 into minus 1 gives us plus 1 and 0 into 3 gives us 0 0 into 2 0 0 and 0 so over here we left with a 0 so it will give us a 2 2 plus 1, 3 and 0. This is the required image. Now solving through the argent plane and sketch it. Our original function, let's suppose this is uh, 1, 2 and uh, 3. And uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus uh, 3. 1, 2 and 3. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And let's suppose this is z-axis. 1, 2, 3. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So over here we have 2 minus 1 and 3. This is 2. This is minus 1. And uh, this is 3. So 2 minus 1 and 3. 2 minus 1 and 3. So it will be just like over here. This is the original u. Now our image is 2, 3, 0. So this is 2 and this is 3. And our z axis is 0. So it will lie over here. So this is actually my image of the given function. So this is the required image. Now solving question number 9 to 11. In exercise 9 to 11, let a function r square to r be a matrix transformation defined by f of x is equal to ax where a is 1, 3, minus 1, 2. Determine whether the given vector is in the range of f or not. So 9, 10, and 11. In the 9th, we have w is equal to 7 and 3. So Let's suppose we have a vector v is equal to v1, v2 such that f of v is equal to w. Remember that the function, the matrix will lie in the range of another uh, matrix so if it satisfies this condition f of v is equal to w. So it become multiply a with this, uh, multiply v with this vector. So over here we have v1 and over here we have v2. So it become a v will be v1 plus 3 v2 and minus v1 plus 2 v2 should be equal to the w which is 7 and 3. Now over here we have two linear equation v1 plus 3 v2 is 7 minus v1 plus 2 v2 is 3. Now by solving this linear system it will give us v1 1 and v2 is a 2. So our v will be equal to v1 and v2. So v1 is 1 and v2 is a 2. So our w is 7 and 3. So 1 and 2 does not lie in 3 and 7 because we have 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7. So 1 and 2 does not lie in this range. No. After this w is 4, 1 in question number 10. So solving to the same system, multiply v1, 3v2, minus v1 plus 2v2 will be 4 and 1. So v1 plus 3v2 will be 4 minus v1 plus 2v2 will be 1. Now by solving this linear system, it will give us v1, 1 and v2, 1. So it become 1 and 1. So 1, 1 lie in the range of 1, 4. So over here our answer will be yes. Now w is equal to minus 1 and minus 9 in question number 11. Now it become v1 plus 3, v2 minus 1. And minus v1 plus 2, v2 will be minus 9. By solving this linear system, v1 is pi and v2 is minus 2. So it become pi minus 2, which does not lie in the range of minus 1 and minus 9. Because over here we will just take the negative value, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. But over here we have positive pi. It means that our answer in this case will be no.
Now move to the next question in exercise number 15 to 17 give a geometric description of the matrix transformation a function r square to r square defined by f of u is equal to a and u for the given matrix a. So 15 number question is part number a is a is equal to minus 1 0 0 1 and part b is a is equal to 0 minus 1 1 0. Now let's suppose my u matrix is equal to x and y so using the same definition f of u is equal to a of u so it become f of u u is x y it become a a is minus 1 0 0 1 into u u is x y by multiply these two matrices it will give us minus x y now i draw the graph for this uh, part number a let's suppose my x is a 1 and let's suppose my y is a 2 so over here by putting x1 so it become 1 and y2 so my original value of u will be let's suppose this is 1 and uh, 1 2 so over here my original u is like 1 and 2 and over here my image is minus x, x and y so x is let's suppose minus one, uh, minus 1 and y is 2 so this is my image so minus 1 and uh, 2 is like over here so this is actually my image and this is the original u now in part number b 0 minus 1 and 1 and 0 so f of u is equal to a of u so f of u is x and y so f of x y is equal to a is 0 minus 1 1 0 and u is x y by multiplying these two matrices become minus 1 minus y and x so let x is 2 and y is 3 so by putting on uh, x2 over here so it become my original matrix will be 2 and y is 3 my original u is this which is 2 and 3 lie over here and my image will be minus y by x so it become minus 3 and y is 2 so it will lie over here so it means that uh, it rotate counterclockwise through the angle of 90 degree because our matrix is cos theta minus sin theta cos theta and uh, sin theta by putting 90 over here it becomes 0 and it becomes minus 1 it becomes 1 and it becomes 0 which gives us the given 0 minus 1 1 0 given matrix so it means that it will move counterclockwise through the angle of 90 degree and also it will tend toward y x axis now solving the last question of exercise 1.5 it tells that let a function r square into r square be the linear transformation defined by f of u is equal to a of u where a is equal to cos theta minus sin phi sin phi cos of pi for theta is equal to 30 degree this is not theta this is pi so pi is 30 degree if f defines the counter clockwise rotation by an angle of 30 degree so part first part tells that if t1 u is equal to a square u then describe the action of t1 on u if t2 is equal to if t2 of u is equal to a inverse u describe the action of t2 on u this is second part and the third part tells that what is the smallest positive uh, value of k for which t of u is equal to a power k u is equal to u so move to the first part it tells that if t1 u is equal to a square u describe the action of t1 on u so over here we have a square it means that we will multiply a with a, a. so our a is cos pi minus sin phi sin phi cos of phi multiply it with the same matrix a cos phi minus sin phi sin phi and cos of pi so it become cos square into uh, cos theta it become cos square phi minus sin into it become minus sin square pi cos into minus sin become minus sin cos minus sin phi cos phi minus sin into cos gives us minus sin phi cos phi sin into cos and cos into sin so sin phi cos phi plus cos phi sin phi and sin into minus it become minus sin square and plus cos square cos square phi now cos square minus sin square will give us cos 2 pi minus sin phi cos pi minus sin pi cos pi will give us oh, minus oh, sin 2 phi and where it become sin 2 pi and it become uh, cos of oh, 2 phi now let us that if t1 is u is equal to a square u this is a square u and t1 u let's suppose this is equal to t1 u and uh, describe the action of t1 on u so over here our original uh, matrix is cos theta minus sin phi sin phi cos phi over here it rotates uh, rotate counterclockwise so uh, to the angle of 30 degree over here each and every term is multiplied by the factor of 2 theta it means that the, dis, uh, the, dis, the, the action of t1 on u will be 2 time of theta so it will be equal to 2 time of theta theta is 30 degree so it becomes 60 degree so the required action of T, t1 on u is a 60 degree now the second part is t, t2 u is a inverse u so a inverse u is gives us the same matrix cos pi minus sin phi and uh, sin phi cos of pi if we take the inverse it will give us the same matrix it means that it uh, the, the 
describe the action of T1 on U. So T1 on U will be the same angle which is 30 degree. Now the third part is what is the smallest positive value of K for T of U is equal to A power K U. So A power K U is equal to U. Shift this on the right hand side it become U minus A power K U is equal to 0. Take U common it become let's suppose over here I take I2 minus so A power K is equal to 0. So over here U should not be equal to 0. Remember and I2 minus A power K will be equal to 0. So shift it on the right hand side it become A power K is equal to I2. So after this oh, my A is cos of pi minus sin phi minus cos uh, pi minus uh, sin pi and uh, sin phi cos of pi and power k so according to the Euler theorem it will come over here so cos pi minus sin k pi so will be equal to 1 0 0 and uh, 1 so cos of k pi is equal to 1 cos k pi is equal to 1 so shift uh, cos on the right hand side become k pi will be equal to cos inverse 1 gives us uh, 360 degree which is 2 pi so my required k will be 2 pi by theta. So theta is a 30 degree which can be written as pi by 6. So it will give us k is equal to 12. This is the required and desired value of k.